All right, guys, we're gonna show you how to skin a squirrel this cricket way. Um, I know there's a lot of different ways to skin squirrels, and some of you may like this way, some of you may not. Um, but it's the way that I've learned how to do it, especially when they get cold and stiff. Because um, I don't like cleaning them out on the field. I don't like getting all bloody and nasty in the field. I use gallon Ziploc bags, throw them in there. So what I do, I put newspaper down because I don't like cleaning up the mess all the time. And newspaper's cheap. I get a very sharp knife right at the base of their head. I get it to go in the skin. As soon as I get it to go in, I pull up on it, and then I just slide it all the way down. Trying not to cut deep into the squirrel, just trying to cut through the skin. Um, anybody that cleaned a squirrel knows that squirrels are pretty tough. So then I go all the way down to the base of his tail. All right, then I use a kitchen shears. It's a standard issue kitchen shears, and I'll take off the tail and the feet at the joints, or the legs right here where they flex. And then the front, right up here again, right below where it, it flexes. Um, be warned, they will grab you when you do that because you're moving their tendons that are not alive. But anyhow, so now that we got that done, I just grab and pull. Use my thumb to pull the skin down. It's a little difficult, especially when they're cold. I'll get that to pull that down. If you get any tough spots like here, just basically take the tip of the knife and just cut along the edge. Once you get it down a little ways, you can easily pull it off. So I shove, shove their arms back through or legs back through, and then I get my thumb on the inside and then I just pull it right out. So, one thing I noticed too when uh, cleaning the squirrels, if you get a, a hit in the shoulder or shattered bone, I generally try not to mess with that because shattered bones um, are very sharp and, and they, they can get you when you're eating them. So here I'm just sliding the knife down just a little bit get the get the skin separated from the meat try not to cut too deep I did a little too deep on that one I'm a little excited I got uh, I got a rabbit today out in the field well, there's my pellet um, this one was shot right here pellet went all the way through <laughs> completely through um, there's the end hole and there's the out hole. So this guy didn't go too far. One shot, he was he was done. So I had a lot of fun hunting today. So now I get to clean them up. So again, sometimes it's a little difficult, so I just use the knife again, get underneath that try not to mess with the muscle. So I did not gut, gut the squirrel. I don't usually gut them. I don't want to waste my time with that. Just more goo I don't need. So just run the knife right down the side. Trying not to cut anything. And once you get it far enough, again I'll push that up and then I'll just get my thumb underneath there and then he's being difficult so we're going to take the easy road oh, that's not in the way hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing here so I grab it just pull okay Yeah, we 
we've got the skin away from everything we want. If you want, you can just pull the whole skin off at that point. Inside the leg, you'll see a joint. So cut right on that joint and just push his leg down. And then right on the top, you can see the muscle structure. Just follow that around and cut the leg. You get right down to the tendon. I just turn it and then I take that off. I always have a nice clean plate to put your meat on. And like I said, the front shoulders, same thing as cut right underneath them, all the way up front. There will be one little bone that will get in your way. And it's right here. That's where my kitchen shears come in. That way you don't dull your knife all up. Um, look the meat over. We had a little bit of a clip there, but that will be fine. We can wash that up. Now, the best part of a squirrel, in my opinion, is the back straps. And they're not big, but they are there. Um, right in front of where you took the leg off, just cut, feel the bone and cut right down on an angle. Be careful not to cut too deep because the guts are right there. You don't want to poke them open. And then on the side of his bone, you feel where you can get along the edge of that spine. And you just cut straight down all the way up to his shoulder blade. And then just peel it back. And that's the the loin back strip. So there you can see we got the back strap coming right off and just cut right up the side. And that is the best part of the squirrel right there. Oh that's some good eating. I know it doesn't look like much, but you uh get four or five squirrels or even three squirrels, you'd be amazed at how far um, that back strap will go. So we gotta get this leg off again. There we got the leg. Uh, we did catch a little bit with the pellet, it looks like. So I don't know how that leg's gonna turn out, but let's get this front one off up here. Same thing, just go right under its armpit. And that one right there. Now we go after this back strip. back strap. And if you want heart, you're a heart eater. Um, hearts are really good. I think they are. I eat rabbit hearts. And squirrel hearts just take your scissors, clip right up the top of the, the um, rib cage, find his little heart. And, um, unless you shot it. it. Should be pretty good. And just clip it out with the scissors. And you get his heart. And that'll be it. Now, I just take the newspaper, roll it up, and throw it in a, in a bag. Well, and then I just grab another clean piece of newspaper. Um, newspaper is sterile, so you don't gotta worry about anything there. It does like to curl up on me though, apparently. Let's see if we got a bigger piece of newspaper. We got a collection of newspaper over here. Got lots of newspaper. Oh, save your newspaper if you're a hunter. Comes in handy. There you go. I'm gonna slap that down. And we'll on to squirrel number two. All right. Again, we'll clip everything off. Grab them by the tail all the way up. Clip. Legs, find the joints, clip, another joint, there we go. Alright, get on the back of his neck. I 
this guy, I shot him in the head so his head's a little, a little squishy. There we go. So, there's the hole. I just pull up on it a little bit so I can get the knife in there. Like I said, it's not the fastest way or the most efficient way, but it's, it's my way. And maybe you like it, maybe you won't. Like I said, you know, as long as you can get the knife up under the skin, just pull up on it. Um, when I'm in my squirrel cleaning mode, I can just do the one slice all the way up the back, but I'm a little rusty right now. Any hair, get rid of the hair. Like I said, just slide it right down. I'll open this little coat up. This is where meat comes from. A lot of people don't like it, think it's yucky. I don't know. I don't wear gloves. I wash my hands before I start cleaning, and I wash my hands after I start cleaning. So, this side out. And let me get this side out here. And just pull out it comes. So, you don't have to get both sides skinned in order to do this. So, there we go. I got around that little bone. He's a smaller squirrel, so he probably doesn't have as much bone. Um, I'm going to get this off his back a little bit so I can get a better angle at his leg. So, it seems like just at the very top of the back area is where the skin sticks the most. So I'll grab a hold of that and pull it off. Like I said, if you want to pull the whole thing off, you can. It's not very hard to do. I'm going to pull this one off. Let's get underneath it. And there you go. Pull it right off. If you don't want to quarter them or cut them all up right away, you might want to do that. Um, if I... There you go. So again, if you want to do the shear thing, you can just shear the head right off. Now you got a whole nice little squirrel. So, we'll finish taking this side off. I'm going to cut down. There's a little bumpy bone back there you got to watch out for. Do a twist. There it is. Just got to find the joint. Um, like I said, I don't like cutting through bone, it dulls your knife fast, so if you just move it around a little bit, you'll, you'll find it. You'll find the joint. So, I don't like to waste any meat. So, I don't like hair all over my meat. This seems to reduce the hair quite a bit. There's a little bone. Put that off. Get the back straps. This guy is really small. But um, the nice part about small young squirrels is they're really tender. <laughs> very, very tender. And they eat very good. Tastes good. Back strap. It's easier to work this way. So you can cut right down to you feel the rib cage. So I'm a one man show tonight. I'm not really sure how this is going to turn out. First time I ever made a video of me um, skinning and butchering a squirrel. So if it's not the greatest, guys, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to help people out who may not know how to do this or may want to try it a different way. Here again, just cut the rib cage open. See if you can find his heart in there. 
or it's usually down in the bottom front area on the squirrel. There you go. Um, again. Oh, now I got the the big fox squirrel. So we're gonna. Checking to see if the camera's even working. Big monster fox squirrel came out right at the very end. Oh man, he's a beautiful, beautiful guy. Got him smack dab in a melon. And then he stayed up in a tree on me. <laughs> I had to shake the tree, climb halfway up at 30 some foot tree or whatever. I don't know, it was a big tree. Not real big around, but tall. He had just come out of his nest to, I guess, soak up the view. It was a beautiful night. And, uh, for some reason, he was hanging up there, upside down, on his legs, so I didn't think I was going to get him. I was all bummed out. I waited and waited. Cold night. Well, not real cold, but after you're out all day like I was, it was pretty cold. And then, uh, out he came, and I got him, and he didn't fall. <laughs> and I shot him again. He was dead, but I thought, now I shoot him again, I might knock him out of the tree and that didn't work so if they're a little crooked I try to straighten them out he's pretty soft again it's tough to get that in there so all right now I can just slide it all the way down and up so game of the game get it under his skin Try not to get the meat. So, I just use the tip of the knife, pulling up the, on the skin at the same time. Like I said, I know, I'm sure there's easier ways to skin a squirrel than this. I'm not sure if there's any cleaner ways to do it, but because I don't really get too messy. Unless, uh, unless like this one bled a little bit, so I got a little bit on my hands, but overall, not really get messy. Let's get the meat off of the skin there. So I can grab a hold and pull that right up. Nice fat one. Let me see, I got a little bit of meat that's hanging on there, so we're just gonna lay that off. I'm going to take this leg off right away. Ah, uh, yeah. So, a lot of people don't like this part. I don't, I don't mind it. Um, part of hunting. Part of the circle of life. You harvest it, you got to clean it. So, what I don't like is meat being wasted and game going to waste. Something gives up its life. There's a lot of respect for that, in my opinion. So, I try to do what I think is right and best I can to harvest the meat and use the meat. So, here I'll just slide this on the side. Hope you guys are getting a good view. Probably, darn things probably in the way. Hope you guys are getting a decent view of this. Uh, if it's not, and there's some boo boos in there, I'm sorry. At least I think I got a little better camera this time. I'm still on the hunt for a decent camera. Seeing as how mine disappeared on me, that wasn't that great to begin with. So we're kind of a, a low budget operation. I'd rather get some nice guns and have to buy expensive equipment but I am trying to help everybody out a little bit and share some of my experiences with with others out there I, I enjoy helping others and I enjoy sharing a sport so hopefully somebody's enjoying it
you do get some hair on it, I just pull it right off. Comes off pretty easy right away. If you let it get all matted all over the place, then you're kind of bumming. So, this guy, I'm gonna peel this back just a little bit. Get right in this joint. Spinning it around helps me find that ligament in there to so help separate it out. Uh, again, I love the back straps, so I cut down here just a little ways first. And I said, be careful if you don't take the guts out, you don't want to go slicing through them. And then just, just feel for the side of the, the backbone, the spine, and just slide it right down to the ribs. Carefully cutting this away because the rib or the guts are right below there. Once we get past that, then we just slide the knife up on the outside and follow it right along until you pull the whole strap out. Not a very big piece of meat again, like I said, but um, actually when you cook it up, they, they kind of shrivel up a little bit, but they get whiter, fatter. Actually a decent little piece of, beef, piece of meat. If you're savvy, you can save a bunch of these up and then uh, I bread, and, bread them and deep fry them. <laughs> They're really good. Anything deep fried is good in Cricket's world. You know, you can't go wrong with deep fried anything. Well, we got that. You know, I'm going to be after the heart. Because I like the hearts. I mean, this guy should have a decent sized heart. And there we go. Three squirrels. I'm not sure how long it took, but I don't think it was all too long. And I'm not sure what you think of the mess. That shouldn't have been too bad either. So, there you have it. Um, cleaning the squirrel the tricky way. If anybody else wants to try it, if you need some questions answered, feel free to, to let me know. I'll try to help you. So, I did get a, a bonus rabbit. And, uh, I'm going to clean him too. Well, rabbits are a little different. Um, newspaper sticks to rabbits. So, it's not really much different than the way I take care of the squirrels, except I won't uh, want to get the meat so much on the newspaper. If you do, it's not the end of the world. You can. You want to save his feet too. You got little rabbit feet. Um, you can wash the you know, the sticky newspaper that sticks on it. You can wash it right off. So it's not that big a deal. Uh, this guy I got right in the shoulder blade, right in the double lung kind of thing. Uh, amazing, he little devil ran on me. So I get his tail too. Um, rabbit tails. So, the same way as they do squirrels, except rabbits um, skin a lot easier. So, I just get that going and slide that in there, and you can see already it's much easier to do. Um, their skin's really, really thin, is what I would call it, and they tear real easy. So, what I'll do is I'll get to the back of the rabbit and I can basically just pull all that right off 
get them to come out of his skin here. Then the bag, you can see it pulls off real easy. Like I said, I don't want to put them back on the newspaper. So I'll get all that off. And then I need the newspaper. I got the cutting board. Don't like all the fur, so we'll just pick off the last bit of the fur. And again, like I said, I'm not a big gut it out if I don't have to guy, so. Just get the fur off. And then if you get fur all over the place, because you know, the rabbits are furry, you know, if you're not, you can take it to the sink and scrub her down. So. And get all the fur. Usually I don't have fur sticking to the legs so much like I did this time, but this one's still a little on the warm side. I got it on the, on the way out of the hunting grounds. Hopping along the fence line. And there, turned a corner and there it was. So that was a nice little bonus for me. Because I love rabbits. Rabbits are good. So. Again, I'll watch the hair thing here. And I do it the same way as I do it with the squirrels. So I find the the back part. They got a little bone back here. You got to go up and around. You want to stay close to the meat, and then go up around the top of the thigh. And I just pull back a little bit. Hairy little devil. Same thing up front. There's a squirrel. They don't got no bone. So that comes right off. Throw them over. You can see we, we got this a little bit, so be careful if it's shattered or something, you might not want it. We'll cut it off and we'll clean it up. We'll see what it's like. Shape of the muscle. And there's a little, there's a little bone back here. So I can get up over the top of it, and then you can cut back down in.